Hello. Welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while. Um, yeah. So, I don't even know the last vlog. I think the last vlog I uploaded was my trip to Denver. Um, I had tried to upload my Christmas vlog, but I just could not get it to upload, and it was just taking way too long, and I just gave up. I, I took it as a sign that my Christmas vlog did not want to go up. Um, so, yeah, I'm back. It has been, it's been a crazy start to 2020. Can we first just admit how trash the ending of 2019 was? Um, 2019, at least for me anyway, from like October on was just trash. And then January 2020 was just the worst. Um, for one, it was literally five full weeks. I don't know if we've ever had. And tires plus. Oh, sorry. In the driver's seat. I don't know if we've. I can't remember the last time I had like a full five week month. I'm sure it was fairly recently. Um, but yeah, you guys, like, January 2019 sucked ass. But now it's February. So I'm feeling a lot better. Um, but yeah, I took some time away from the camera because I just was not in a good space. I had been dealing with a lot of like trauma and loss as of lately, so I'm just trying to get through all of that because it's just really hard sometimes. Like you have to take some time for yourself and you have to, um, you have to like go through the stages of grief, I guess. So, I'm on the tail end of anger, so I'm almost done. Um, but yeah, I am taking 2020, and especially the month of February, to focus on me, so I'm really happy about that. And I'm just really happy to be vlogging again, so hopefully I can get back to like my weekend vlogs, kind of start there. I don't have any trips planned so far for um, 2020, but I do have something really big that's supposed to happen. Um, we'll see. That should come later in spring, but I will be sure to document. But right now, I think I'm just going to show you guys what I'm making for dinner. So I am about to make some soup. Um, I messed up my Lodge enameled cast iron pot. You guys have seen it plenty of times before. I burned popcorn in it, and I caused like a grease fire within the pot, so I had to throw it out um but I am doing a lemony chicken orzo soup tonight have a cold it sounds like I have a cold but I'm trying to feed whatever this is I've just been congested since Wednesday but today was the first day that I woke up and I wasn't nearly as congested and I've been just like binge watching YouTube videos I don't have cable so I watch YouTube I've been watching the sorry girls if you guys have ever heard of them they're this like duo out of Canada and they do a lot of DIY stuff and um, they have like a lifestyle vlog too and I've just been watching it and it's really good. I like it. 
um, and it's kind of just been something nice to have so but yeah I think this is probably like I should show you guys something I'm not ashamed for what I'm about to show you um, I was leaving work today and I went to the store and I picked up some mini cupcakes and I ate all of them but one I'm like in progress I like lick the frosting off of that one but yeah I ate like seven in one sitting but if you really think about it there's 12 in there and it takes at least two of them I would say three to make one real like normal size cupcake so I technically only had four cupcakes but you know my my word for the new year is accountability and I just wanted to show you guys that um I'm not ashamed I'm not ashamed one bit and yeah I just felt like I needed to share mm -hmm. um, good Saturday morning um, it is a little after nine I've actually been up probably since like 7 30 just kind of like dozing in and out of sleep but the sun was up and bright and early and kind of like peeking through the windows this morning so I opened my blinds but now it's kind of gone but I am about to get dressed and go to the gym for a little bit. This is the little um, workout set that I got. It's just like these little leggings and it has like a little matching top so I'm going to get dressed and put this on and I'm going to go to the gym downstairs in my building and I'm going to try and work out for maybe like 30 minutes today. Um, obviously I should do like a little bit of cardio and then I'll do just like some body weight exercises. super sweaty or like red or anything like that um like I said I'm just now like getting into working out so I'm not gonna just like go a hundred when I first start um so yeah I'm about to take a shower clean up my apartment a little bit and then hopefully work on my blog I have like a few adult things that I need to do like make breakfast um <laughs> But yeah, so that's what's gonna happen. And I had a, I got a nice, like, my heart rate got up at the gym. I did like 10 minutes on the treadmill just to kind of get some blood flowing. And then I did some floor work for um, my body. So I feel good with what I did today. I'm content. I went to the gym, I moved for at least 30 minutes. So I'm not upset by it at all.
Okay, so I just got back from having like a little chit chat with my friend and neighbor. Um, she just has so much good stuff happening for her and I'm so happy for her. Like I can't even explain how happy I am for her. Um, I am just in my apartment, it's like business center. I'm on the laptop or the MacBook. Um, and I just have to print out some forms. And then I'm going back upstairs. shining off the building that's right across from mine but I'm just gonna sit here and get as much vitamin D as possible um, I'm watching a quiet place I don't know if you guys can see that or not but I've never seen this movie before but I was just reading like the description and it's like post-apocalyptic and the people that are still alive have to be extremely quiet like almost silent or these like creatures are gonna come out and eat them and kill them but now I'm like watching the movie as quiet as possible so um, I'm just warming up some food some soup from yesterday and I also have a margarita on my um, nightstand over there so I'm enjoying my Saturday I'm taking it easy um, so yeah this is the first day I felt like pretty good in quite a while and I'm just gonna see how long I can ride this high but yeah, that's kind of all I've been doing today. Um, not too much, just gonna take it easy, chill out, and just kind of take it easy tonight. So I'll check back in a little later. Oh, it's really cold, yikes. I don't know what I thought it would be. Sure as heck wouldn't be hot. niacinamide niacinamide um, serum from the ordinary so I have just like some hyperpigmentation like around my cheek and jawline and like underneath my neck and stuff like that just from like hormonal acne so I this is what I've been using I use this and then just like a moisturizer um, and I've already started to see like a difference. It's supposed to help with like cell turnover, I believe. Um, but yeah, so I try to use this just at least like once or twice throughout the week, typically like on the weekends. 
Um, but yeah, I literally just like put some on, find my little problem areas, and like obviously I use it all over my face, but I try to focus first on my problem areas. Just like for the rest of the day, I don't have too much to do. Um, I do actually want to work on the blog. I didn't have a chance to do that yesterday, but I was able to go ahead and edit Friday and Saturday's night's worth of this vlog, so that's done. All I have to do is just plug in this part, and then I'll be able to upload it tonight or tomorrow morning, which I'm really happy about. Um, I'm trying to be like more accountable to myself in the new year, because I haven't always been able to do that. I have some work that I need to do with my therapist today. Um, she, we've been working through just like some of the things I've been dealing with and we found that like me writing letters, um, and doing meditation has been really helpful. Um, but for this scenario, everything that we're working through, we've just found that me actually writing out letters and like explaining how I feel and like is the best way for me to kind of express myself and work through everything so I'm not super excited to do it but I know I need to. I use Talkspace. I don't know if I've mentioned that before but I've been using Talkspace since November and um, I'm able to work with a therapist basically five days a week and I send her voice messages and like text messages through the app and it's been super helpful. Um, she's really good about getting back to me, so I typically hear from her at least like three times a day. Um, and then when the weekends come, she's obviously like off work, but the room is what it's called is still open, so I can still send her messages and she'll read them and she'll respond on Monday and we'll just pick up and go from there. So it's been really helpful for me, so if... Anybody is looking to get into therapy, I think Talkspace is a good way to start if you may not have access to, um, you know, like a physical therapist or if you feel like you need to talk to someone like on a regular basis. Like I knew for me and everything that I've been dealing with, um, I knew that just talking with somebody once a week or like once every two weeks just wasn't going to cut it for me. I wasn't going to make any growth or progress. So yeah, I actually use... Talk space. Home for the day. I'm not going to be doing too much. Just going to take it easy. Ooh, it's very cool lighting. I like this. The snow showers have stopped. Now we just have like little flitters of flurries. But what, what can you do? It's February in Minnesota. It's the peak of winter. And I can't really do anything to change that. But yeah. That's what's going on today, and if I do anything exciting or worth vlogging, I'll be sure to check back in. Not like actual swings, but kind of just like doop, doop, doop. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I think I'm just going to take it easy.
I know I say that all the time, but I really think I'm just gonna chill out, maybe binge a little TV, and then who knows. So, but yeah, glad you all enjoyed my little baking adventure. I will be baking again later this week because I'm gonna do some Valentine's Day cookies, so you know, I'll be sure to check back in and show you guys that. But for now, I am going to chill out on the bed and just binge a little bit. Hello. Hey. I want to show you guys something. Okay. So I just took my Christmas tree down, um, I think like MLK weekend, so probably like two weeks ago. This is not me being super creepy, but there's my neighbor she's like two doors down she still has her christmas tree up it is february sis i mean i know people love to put them up super early but you gotta take that down you gotta take that down um so last time i checked into the blog or the vlog i was showing you guys that i like made those fun little pop tarts after that um, I started working on the blog and I just like was watching some YouTube videos and trying to work at the same time and then I just got really sleepy so I have this really nice heated electric blanket that I just like always have and I fell asleep so it happens from time to time. But, I would like to show you guys what I did. But, other than vlogging and napping and making Pop-Tarts today, my friends, we have a group chat and they suggested that I watch the show called Lock and Key on... Netflix and that's what I've been doing it's about this like family and they live in this house that has all these special keys and stuff so I've just kind of been binge watching this for a little while now and I am about to finish this vlog edit it and hopefully get it um posted tomorrow tomorrow's Monday um but yeah so had a pretty good weekend um and I'm just going to try and set myself up for success for the week. So I hope you all had a great weekend as well. And I will check back in with you all a little later.